I'm going to start off with some onions. That's one onion that I chopped up. That's pretty big. I'm going to add one pound of ground beef. And I'm going to add one pound of pork sausage. One half teaspoon of salt. And stir this around and cook it up. It's cooked about 15 minutes and the onions are soft. I did it over medium heat, not real hot heat. And I'm going to take it and drain it. Drain all the fat off. And next I'm going to let this cool down. I've got the meat cooled off there. I want to take it and put it in this plastic bag. Like that. Just put it all in there. It's kind of chunky and everything. And put it in this plastic bag, get it all in there. And I'm going to put this in the refrigerator overnight. Next we're going to take the cold meat, it needs to be cold, and put it through this grinder. And it needs to be cold because it, it goes through the grinder easier, more easily, and combines the flavors and it makes it way, way more tender. Unbelievably tender. Here I have it all ground up and now it is uh, ready to use. You can put it in freezer bags and use it on pizza and spaghetti sauce. It's wonderful. It's very mildly flavored with the onions because it got ground up in there too. And very, very tender. Here I'm adding six ounce can of tomato paste. I'm making the sauce for our sandwich. And eight ounces of tomato sauce. And now we need to add dried minced onion at one tablespoon, and a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of chili flakes. One teaspoon of Italian seasoning. And one teaspoon of oregano. Mix this all up and that's your sauce. I've sliced my bread. I want the bottom to be fairly thick and the top to not be very thick. Set that aside. And add our sauce. For this, I think you need to use all the sauce. Because this bread is thick. So take your sauce and spread this all over. And I even like to let it sit for about 10 minutes. So maybe some of the sauce will uh, soak into the bread. Next, add your meat mixture. And you can use a spoon or to me it is so much easier just to use your hands your impeccably clean hands next layer on your mozzarella and you want your meat mixture to be fairly thick because the bread's thick that's why you want so much sauce and, and uh, meat on there have all the cheese on there. I'm going to lift this up like this. And this, I'll put this in my 400 degree oven. While that's in the oven, I'm going to take the top and put some butter on top, on the uh, top piece of the butter. And 
there we go. And use some cheap Parmesan. Just sprinkle some of that on there. Just a little bit. I don't have very much anyway. Just use it up. All right, here it is. It's been in there about 17 minutes. Uh, maybe 20. And I'm gonna put some mild chilies here. These are peppercinis, peppercinis. Kind of just wrap this up a bit and let it cool down a bit. And I turn my oven off and I'm gonna put this in there to melt the butter and warm up. It's been about four minutes cooling off. And about four minutes for the top. Just put that on there. And the top came kind of crispy. I like that. Oops. Let's cut a decent sized piece. This will serve at minimum four people. There you go. I like these a lot. Very much, I like those. And this is very, very delicious. I highly recommend you make it. So good. Mm. Thanks so much for watching.